Why? First, if we may, uh, why aren't you an astronaut now? Well, I couldn't begin to tell you. Uh, I have no, I have no comment for that question. I don't know. Captain, did you uh, write a 15-page report uh, outlining racial pressure brought against you in, in uh, aerospace school? Well, I prefer not to answer that question either. It's uh, I've apprised uh, certain uh, people in the Department of Defense of, uh, of certain occurrences uh, during my training at Edwards, and that's all I'll have uh, to say about that particular point. Would you make any comment on the Ebony Magazine article, which is rather strong? No, I won't make comment at all. I haven't read it. Uh, I'm not aware of what's in it. I've only been uh, apprised uh, of some of the information that's been quoted out of context. And I refuse to make a comment on the article until I read it and digest it. And um, as uh, as one point that was brought out to me uh, once earlier today about an article in the magazine that stated that uh, I said that uh, a certain officer told me that uh, Negroes should not even be in uniform. And this particular point, I'd like to strongly. Uh, uh, point out that nobody ever said this to me verbally. Have they ever said anything like that to you? Well, I refuse to comment on that point. Do you feel you've been subjected to any racial pressure whatsoever? Well, that uh, is a matter of conjecture. Uh, uh, something like this would be, uh, uh, if it could be construed to be true, this would probably be in my own mind, maybe. But uh, other than that, I won't make any overt statements at this time. Uh, outlining any overt racial pressure at any time during my training at Edwards. Were you interviewed by anybody, uh, were you interviewed by anyone from Ebony Magazine? Is that how this happened? Uh, Ebony uh, approached me, I guess this was a month or so ago, uh, about making, uh, writing an article about me. And uh, uh, when they arrived to talk to me, they had, uh, was were full armored with quite a bit of information. Where they got it from, I don't know. I talked with them uh, for a short period of time, and uh, they were just interested in uh, talking to me for to find out whether I was still alive and all that sort of thing, I guess. I don't know. But other than that, uh, uh, this was the extent of it. Are you now, in fact, completely out of the astronaut program? Is there a possibility of you ever being back in? I don't know. I don't have any idea. You were quoted as saying that uh, the Air Force had discriminated against you for the astronaut program. And I saw that on the wire service this morning. Uh, do you feel this is true, or does NASA make the selection of the astronauts? Well, uh, I uh, don't recall ever saying that the Air Force is discriminating against me in the, Air, in the astronaut program because the Air Force doesn't have an astronaut program as such. We have a military space program on the drawing boards, I guess. Uh, but right now, we don't have a military space program. As far as NASA is concerned, uh, they have their own program. Uh, they have a selection process that they put everybody through. And uh, as far as the inner workings, uh, as far as why I'm not a NASA, I uh, won't uh, comment on that at all. You finished Good your though. training at Edwards when? In yes. December of 63? That's right. You said uh, there were instances that racial discrimination, possible racial discrimination, that might have just been in your own mind. Could you relate a couple of those? No, I will not. Not this time. Did you have Air Force permission to grant the interview to Ebony Magazine? Uh, no, uh, I believe uh, I have a right to grant an interview to anybody I wish. Uh, uh, this is the stand that I'm uh, Captain, what is your now. official status right now? I'm an experimental test pilot at uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in the bomber section. Is that the duty you wanted? No. What did you want? Well, I won't comment on that either. You wish now you had not granted the Ebony magazine interview. Uh, Ebony was going to write the interview, regard or write the article, regardless of whether I granted the interview or not. Uh, this Ebony magazine interview was nothing but a follow-on to an to an article that had already been written, stating the same things that Ebony stated. Where this gentleman got his information, I don't know because I never talked to him before in my life. You feel that what's happened to you uh, is a setback for civil rights? opportunities in this country? No, I would rather not comment on that. Why? Well, because, uh, first of all, you got to uh, 
I have to establish what's, what's happening, what happened to me first. And uh, uh, this, uh, as far as uh, I haven't done, and I don't wish to at this time. Everybody uh, wrote an article. I didn't write the article. They, they made statements in there. Uh, DC is now non-existent. Uh, it's Air Force Systems Command, AFSC. Who are you? I am the Minister Louis Farrakhan. Spock? Spock, who is he? A former Calypso singer, Captain. Who later became leader of a 20th century African-American religious sect known as the Nation of Islam. I'd like to buy some incense. Bean pie, my brother? No, thank you. What do you want? I've come to warn your crew. Warn, warn your, your crew. crew. Of their enslavement. Enslavement. Aboard this vessel. Mm -hmm. That's poppycock. These people are perfectly free to do anything they'd like. It is that same lie that kept Elvis the king. That made that poor child Latoya Jackson think she could sing. It is that same lie that's got white boys rapping and the fat boys acting. Hey, mister, you can't go in here and talk to me like that. Ahura, oh, get me Starfleet Command. Yes, Captain. Oh, my Nubian princess. How long have you placed his cause? I watch the show every week, and all I see is the back of your nappy wig. Oh, Hora, Starfleet, now! Well, wait a second. He's right. I've been sitting here for 15 years with this damn thing in my ear. It ain't got one raise yet. Is that all I'm good for? To be your little secretary? Or your occasional chocolate fantasy? You get up off your flat butt and get Starfleet your damn self, cause I Yes, sister. Mr. Zulu, call Scotty. Tell him to get this man out of here. Wait a minute, Mr. Zulu. Before you touch that dial, answer me this question. Who does the laundry around here? I do. Mr. Zulu, well, you call me Buddha head and pie face in front of everybody. Well, I've been in space all this time, and I haven't had one woman yet. You even take the ugly ones, Captain. My loins are about to explode. I want to do the nasty. That's right, rise up! Mr. Spock, my friend, we've got to do something. Why do you say we, Caucasoid? It's obvious, Captain, that... Minister Farrakhan is right. Spunk, are you out of your falcon mind? Well, logically speaking, Captain, I am the strongest and most intelligent person aboard this vessel, yet I'm only second in command. Mm -hmm. I should be captain. And I'm also a better director than you. <laughs> Can't you see it's discrimination? You get off my ship, buddy. Put your puny weapon down, Captain. You cannot harm me. My people have survived 400 years of slavery. Slavery! 300 years of apartheid. Apartheid! And 25 years of the Jeffersons in syndication. <laughs> I love it when I do that to them. <laughs> Nubian princess, call Sylvia's soul food shack, make reservations. I got a taste for some blackened white fish. <laughs> Mr. Sulu, what are you gonna have? Sylvia. Well, all right then, my horny Asian brother, walk back to five. We're going home, destination 125th Street.
bitches in the end of life. I know, I know, I know, I can't explain. You know, my top of shot just blow them brain. Who are the men with the gold in his hand? Step one, you see, like Captain Gay Man. You want the music, everybody scream louder. Lick their shot and smell the gunpowder. On and 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 on Freestyle flow to make the crowd just go The old to the new, the new to the old The rhythm be working up on me The crowd be jumping up on me The people are waiting up on me To enter the stage in the rage Mad lions out the cage Now it's time for me to engage And be a witness The lyrical fitness The jumps, the dives, the leaps Are you getting this? Next, to step up Microphone check up KRS1, so come and get your Number seven is the weapon with the goddess I'm stepping lyrically, I'm never begging, you know I'm the difference between Indo and Oregano Imagine how fresh I am now, made these lyrics up a year ago So report back, it was fat, fit All that quick, pump that drop, that's hit I'm lyrically just be fit Catch me bugging on the mic Every day and every night Every hour, every second minute Don't stop, get it, get it Yes, admit it, when I'm way up in it You can't hide, cause my radar's one Bip, 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 bip I reside in the watchtower Watching MC's land Your career will be as short as my part And who's the man? God damn, I'm the pinnacle Yes, the metaphysical Come to you as the rap god of lyrical syllable Fall to your knees, bring fruit, ask advice Put your rhymes on the altar Burn them as a sacrifice The aroma reaches up to my nostril I get hostile Your lyrics are stiff like David Koppel Yes, premiere rocks the track on time KRS-1 would offer the top of the head bomb Yeah, fat show, you know you gotta flow My man Dougie press down with the one called okay, KRS We got the mad MCs up in the d and I'm out, G, couple, one, two, yeah Motherfuckers know who's the best If it ain't that dope, then it must be North Finesse Think not, to show what you got But don't grab this mic, the shit's too hot I'm a born killer, nigga from the Bronx Rappers talk shit, but there's really no pop Bring it on if you think you can hang And if not, then let me do my thing Yeah, so Smith and Wesson, if you're down with me Represent one time on the M.I.C. Mr. Ripper, get your gear and prepare for war Mr. Fixer, you ain't gotta tell me no more It's what I see on the daily Deals with reality, so come follow me on this journey New Brooklyn, where the crooks dwell and the products overlook it In the form of a street, you know them well Bet your ass this grass is greener Than the 20 shock of sense of me Straight from Medina You know the vibe With Smith and Wesson twist up the top Peace of my people in the field Peace of my heads in the sky We do or die To test your stamina yeah. So any challenger We pass a motherfucker off to the damage Super scientific madness My status is the baddest Every time I bless the apparatus You wish to take me out So you study Meanwhile my clothes Mics and foes are left bloody, cruddy, filthy from the ground on up. When I plan my attack, I doubt that you're ready. Rain on competition like razor sharp confetti. Kung fu techniques from the perverted monastery. Seafood rude manipulates the microphone and rhymes like bullets penetrate your zone. See, we bring more drama than Kevin Costner. No, I'm not Jamaican, but yes, I'm a Rasta. And we about to bounce like a bad check. My man Mr. Dave would say From the D&D All-Stars Peace